Here we're at Graver Farms today. We're, uh, we just finished up at harvest and uh, now we're gonna do our winter maintenance. What we're doing is we're working on a, a case sprayer with some aim command on it. And uh, through the year we had some solenoids go bad on our, uh, on our system here. There are electric solenoids on there. It's uh, aim command system. And we wanna determine uh, what the problem is, if it's in the wiring harness, if it's in the solenoid, or, or what the problem is. So we're gonna go over here, I'm gonna show you how to test these solenoids. All right, the first thing I did was made up some wires. Um, I call these things little roach clips. Uh, put a roach clip on one end, and on the other end, I uh, put an end on that goes into your, your weather pack. So what I'll do is, you can get a little nine volt battery, all I do is get a little vice grips. Don't crimp it too hard, just so it's a little uh, stable, so you can stable your battery. What I'll do is you'll put the, the red wire on your positive, and uh, you'll go and you'll put your black wire on your negative of the 9 volt. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do to see if this solenoid is working or not, is you're going to take your black wire, and on this plug, on your weather pack, there's an A and a B. What you do is you plug your black wire into the B. And then you're going to take your red wire and tap it onto the A. And you should be able to hear it click in your solenoid. If you listen closely, maybe you can hear it. That's clicking. That's moving your plunger in the solenoid. That's telling me that that solenoid's good. Um, so what you can do is, that's one solenoid that's good. So what you can do is, you can try another one here. Uh, I have another one here set up that uh, we could uh, look at here. Uh, we'll plug the black into the B, the red back into the A. And if you hear it, it's, t it's, it's ticking in there. The plunger's moving, but very little. So that's telling me that that isn't working properly. So if you take this apart, usually you take a pliers on here and you take them apart this way, okay? They come off. This plunger sometimes will stick, will be, have a little bit of dirt on it or inside, inside the solenoid itself might have a little dirt or residue from spray material on it. Clean it off and see if you can get it to move. And what you do is you can check it by, with this off. Um, you do the same thing, have the B in there and just tap it on, on your A. See how that solenoid moves? Now, that's not moving fast enough. So that's telling me that the solenoid's a little weak. Okay, I'll try to take this one here apart that we just checked before. That was good, I'll show you the difference there. Now we watch this, we'll watch this one here move. We'll take our black wire, plug it into the B, and we'll take the red wire and just tap on the A, and that, that little plunger should jump up and down pretty good. See the difference it, it makes? That, that one's a good solenoid. This one here was, was barely moving. We'll go back to this one again. See? It don't even really want to move, so that, that's weak. That's weak because it, it warmed up from just the last time I used it, and it doesn't want to. It doesn't even want to work. It's moving, but very slightly. Okay, now if you go over to this one, to the one that's good, okay, and you plug this in, and to B, and you tap it with the A, you see that move. Okay, if you do not have that little plunger in, and try to check it. You won't know, you won't hear anything, and you won't see anything move. So that little plunger must be in there in order for you to see anything move or know that it's working properly. Okay, so that's, that's that. Now there could be other problems besides that. So if you see it moving like that, you actually know that, that, that that's a good one. So you can actually put that together. I always make sure these are clean so they're not sticking. And then you, you put them back together on there, tighten them back up, um, okay, here's another situation. 
you want to make sure that it's working. So all you check this one again, do your B, put your B in there, and you put your your A in. Nothing working. Okay. So we we know it's not working. So what we'll do is we'll come here and we'll cut these wires off. Off the weather pump. Strip them. Strip the ends off so you can get it, make a connection. And we'll take this here off right away. Now it wasn't working when that weather pack was on. Let's see if that weather pack might have been bad. So you'll get your black wire, connect it to the black, and then your red wire, and then you watch that thing. So actually, this one does work. All you do is touch the wires. So what was wrong with this one is the weather pack was bad. So the, uh, the part of the weather pack was not working. So you have to determine whether it's in the weather pack or if it's in the plunger or where it's at. But in this case, it was the weather pack. So, uh, this was nothing else. Uh, but you should really be able to hear it when you have it all together. Sometimes these get corroded. If you use nitrogen in your spray, sometimes your wires will get corroded in here or even on your sprayer. If this is all good and you put it back on and it still doesn't work, then it's, you can hear that one go. That's a good one. So that, that will make your spray, when it's spraying, that will make your spray tip pulsate, which you want. Um, also, a lot of times, these here little uh, solenoids, or the plungers, I'm sorry, the, sol the plunger solenoids here, they get worn. If you look on the top here, that ring is worn, um, and, and they won't work quite right. Or uh, So what you want is you get a new one, and if we take this new one out of the bag here, you'll see that it's not worn like that on the top. You see the difference from one to the other? So uh, if it's... Uh, if it's leak, if it's uh, not working, you need to check your solenoid, uh, your weather packs. Uh, maybe in our next video, I'll show you how to connect the weather pack onto the wire. So put a new wire if you're if they're corroded or not making contact, or maybe the wire came off. Here's another way you can double check yourself with these uh, solenoids. Um, you can get an old meter, check your ohms. Um, you should go over here, plug your your black into the B. You look on here, they have a B. Put the B on there and just touch the red into the other, into the A. It should read 21, 21 ohms on there. It's not reading anything, okay? So now you go to another one, plug it into that. So that's telling me that one's no good. So you go to another one here and plug it into the black, touch it red with the A, and it should read around 21 ohms. It's 21.7, so that's telling me that one's good. Here's another thing to check. Sometimes your um, plungers get sticky from spray material or dirt. And what you want to do is you want to watch if it goes in and out real smooth or if it sticks fast. And in this case, it doesn't really want to go in and out quite right. So you pull this out, look at it. And if you look at it, you can see there's some dirt on there. So what I'll do is I'll come and I'll take a little carburetor cleaner. And I'll clean that up. And I'll wipe it down, wipe it off. Real good, get it nice and smooth again, clean it up and see if it works any better. Put it back in and test it again. See how it goes? It goes much smoother. All the way in, all the way out. Before it was only going so far, it would stick. 
So that's another thing to look look for.